So if you are wanting to upgrade or replace your hard drive in your HP Pavilion Laptop 15 series, it may look something like this. Once you get inside, I'll show you what my computer looks like on the outside and how to remove and replace. All right, so we've turned it over so we can access the screws. There are five visible screws and we're going to remove all of those with um, just an appropriately sized Phillips screwdriver. But there are also going to be other screws inside. It may be helpful to have a set that has various sizes and shapes um, just in case. Okay, there are also screws that are going to help us access underneath each of these rubber pads. This, this is a magnetic strip. We've covered it with masking tape so we can label what each of these are. These were the three that came off of the back. These two were from the front edge of the back. These were the hinges. We're gonna be adding some more here. And then there was the other rubber pads we removed that just have a single screw and those are here. So label them so that you'll remember and you can see we've got a lot of space for more screws as they're needed. Okay, next is remove this disk drive, but actually I had to turn the computer back on for just a moment so that it would open the disk drive and now we can remove it. So you might want to do that before you start this process of removing screws. Okay, now this is the back we just took all the screws out of and we have the disk drive out. Now this seam is the seam that we're going to split open and um, I'm using my, my thumbnail to get in there because it's the thinnest thing I have and it's just barely strong enough to do it. We do have this other spatula to, once it's wide enough to get in there a little better. So we're gonna very gently scoot across. Okay, so you just have to take your time, work your way around the seam. Um, the corners by these single screws under the rubber pads are the toughest. But keep working it. If you get the rest of it loose, then it you can kind of break it free this way. The other trouble spot is over here. This is a very thin strip, but it will pop up with just a little more pressure. So we've gotten this completely free and clear now. So this is the hard drive, and to remove it, we're gonna follow this connection to its end, which is right here. And rather than pulling it out, there is a little switch, this little black bar on the top we're gonna lift. It's got a tiny little hinge. You can see it's open now, I'm gonna close it. Okay, we need to open it, flip it open, so that this can be pulled out. You must be very, very gentle with this. These connectors are very delicate. And then once this is free, being careful not to crease this or bend it, you can simply lift this hard drive right out of place.